Hi folks, Tim here again from High on Cheap Tech, and of course today we're announcing my Reviewer of the Year Award. Uh, you will notice there's a question mark in the in that. That's because it's a matter of opinion, and I have my criteria, and other people have other criteria, so I want your feedback. And uh, I will also say that everyone I subscribe to, if you check my subscription list, go to my channel, <coughs> you will see everyone I watch is probably worthy of this award, but I had certain criteria this year, and I went by that, and I'll explain why the winner got it and why the everyone else didn't. There can only be one. So, for the intro here, I'm just going to show you shots of the four people I narrowed it down to. I had it down to three, but I raised it to four for the year, and a little music, and it may drag on for a full minute. I don't know how long it'll take me to go through them. So, let's get that going right now. Let's continue on. So, having seen that, let's go over the criteria of uh, Reviewer of the Year. It's mostly for people who do a wide variety of stuff. Uh, they do consistently good videos. Uh, production quality is important, but it's not top of the line uh, importance. What is, is content. And, of course, going over older phones that you've had for a while, or older laptops, and, you know, re-reviewing them, and letting us know what you think, you know, six months down the road. So, we're going to start by bringing them up one at a time here. First, there's uh, AMD Tech. Um, obviously, of all the reviewers that I have on my reviewers I trust list, he has the best production quality. Uh, just outstanding editing, and uh, and he keeps it interesting, gives you the pros, the cons, and all that. And then next on the list, it, these are in no particular order, is C. Butler. He does a wide variety of stuff, a lot of earbuds, earphones, older phones, cheaper phones, budget phones, kind of more in my wheelhouse, by the way. But he does a lot of case reviews, too. And that's very important in my criteria. And then next, uh, we have uh, uh, my Project 13, another guy who does a lot of case reviews. He goes back sometimes to an older phone and talks about it. Uh, very important, though, that he talks about cases. And he does the occasional headphones and earbuds he's done lately. Uh, so he was right up there. And uh, last is Jay Williams, and like I said, these are in no particular order. He's very consistent with the case reviews. He does talk about phones he's had for a while. Uh, he does some headphone testing and, and a pretty wide variety of things. So, now, who gets the award? Well, right here, C. Butler. Um... Not the best production quality at all, as far as sound goes sometimes. I let him know that all the time. I'm like, just wear a lavalier mic or put a headset on and you'll have consistent volume. and uh, Or a lapel mic, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but 
because he goes back over these older phones sometimes a year down the road, uh, and the fact he does a lot of case reviews and, you know, covers that, and he tends to gravitate towards the lower-end phones, which are more in line with, you know, our thinking here at High End Cheap Tech. So he is our reviewer of the year, and that's about all I have for today. So tell me what you think in the feedback below. You may have another review, maybe one that I don't even have on my list. I really do have enough, so to keep me busy watching them all the time. So hopefully somebody came in here for the premiere for once uh, and saw this live. Uh, I'll try to be awake then. I don't know what time I'm going to set it for. Uh, I do need a nap this afternoon. Still not feeling great. But thanks for watching. Make sure you would like this video, share it, and subscribe to our channel. And that is all I have. I'll catch you in the next one.